Target sighted. All right, so I guess we just gotta bust the skulls of whoever's messing with stuff here as we go? That should do it. But I expect there to be a number of security authentication points. I suggest we need those. Prepare yourselves for battle. Threat detected ahead. Might be worse than we thought, but we still gotta move. Here goes nothing. Initiating hacking. <laughs> That's over with. Exercise caution. Here are mine! I get neutralized. Stay short of your distance. Will this let us get through to places we couldn't before? It appears so. We should return to the lobby on the first floor and see. Initiate emergency protocol. Warning. Energy levels are 
range. Copy that. Detected ahead. conflict. We will need maximum security clearance to get through here. We will have to return later. Damn. Right when we're almost guaranteed to find something too. No choice but to work our way up the security chain. Let's leave this be for now. I think I have it. Initiating hacking. <laughs> have the proper security level yet. We should figure that out first. Exquisite! There's a right swarm of them in here. They're into their numbers. The more they group up, the more we can take out at once. Let's make this quick. Insufficient output. Oh, more than you deserve. Warning. Energy levels low. Target sighted. Target 
Initiating hacking. Goes nothing. Initiating hack. <laughs> Thank you. 
was it? security level yet. We should figure that out first. Goes nothing. <laughs> Initiating hackers.
Strike Authentic Machine Skin. What is this? The integration processing plant. Those you see here are in the very midst of integrating with Scorpium. Please don't tell me they will all be centralists. If the principles of Scorpium are existent, the choice to be a centralist or not will be left up to each individual. Therefore, it is impossible to determine whether those in the midst of integration will be friend or foe. Yeah, great. Look at the scale of this operation. So, uh, is this particular integration plant special or something? Or are all of them this big? Out of all the many plants, this one boasts the largest Cybermind integration capabilities. Cybermind integration? Cyberint? <laughs> gives me the creeps. Though standard integration, like my own, requires the consent of the organic life form. It will still be joining in a subordinate role to the core cybernetic life form. This is the main reason why integration with Scorpion is often perceived as invasion. The wills of both the organic life form and Scorpion persist in a state of coexistence. The cybernetic and organic life forms merge anatomically and become dependent upon the body for self-subjectivity. The integrated being can then connect the electrical signals of its own brain directly to the network. This is in contrast to cybermind integration, in which the organic life form is the core and subjectivity is not dependent on the body. 
subjectivity is not dependent on the body? So it would be similar to me diving into cyberspace and inserting my own identity program into a computer I had hacked. Similar, but not the same. In the situation you describe, the subjective data you produce is being linked to a limited body located in the physical world. The subjectivity of an individual post-Cybermine integration exists within Scorpium Network. It connects and merges with the entire network while maintaining its subjectivity and sense of self. The only situation where an individual requires a physical body is when it wishes to interact with the material world. By its very nature, Cybermine integration incites new evolution within the network. But would that not require the brain functions of the organic life form to be converted in their entirety? There is no cause for concern. Even standard integration like that of JJ can be said to apply a certain level of cybermind integration in the way it allows connection to the network. Conducting cybermind integration generally requires that the individual have already undergone standard integration. As such, the progression to a complete and full state of digitalization is not an overly taxing procedure for the individual. <laughs> I can't follow any of this at all! What is this, this digitalization, really? Mm, how can I explain this? It's sort of like turning the inside of your mind into a machine and replicating your soul there, I guess. We're moving into the deepest levels. Not even I could tell you what we might find from here on. Be at ease. Here! You bet I do! There you are, Marielle. I knew you'd come. Hostile fused Scorpium unit has been detected. What? That man has completed integration. Stay on guard. No. What? But when? When did you integrate with Scorpium? A life-changing 15 years back. Uh, that long ago? Yes, though time has flown by. What happened here on Parapium today will forever change the fate of the Scorpion and the Pangalactic Federation. What are you talking about? The only thing that you've accomplished is hurting so many people! I doubt it's anything a little girl from an undeveloped planet would understand. But I'll fill you in. Today, our Sovereign has obtained a tremendous power. One that will alter the course of history for all of Scorpion. I am beyond proud to have been party to its acquisition. You speak of the fate of the Federation. Don't tell me you're seriously planning to strike at the Federation alongside the Centralists. Just like you did with Captain Curtis and the Bella Gulf! <laughs> you fail to understand the thing. Curtis is the one who turned his back on the Federation. Now most of the Pangalactic Federation forces serve under our Sovereign. You might even say the Federation is the Centralist Scorpion. We will wield the military might of our Sovereign and the Scorpion to expand our nation. Such is the path to glory for the Federation, for all life in the galaxy. We if shall prevail! What is that? I 
normally don't give a shit about the Federation. I'll be damned if you think I'm going to do a trick over other people's lives. As a Bergaldian, there's no way I'm going to let any of that happen. I'll scare a hooligan from some fat The Astoria, huh? It seems like you can stick in the power of the ship for your own. Your cognitive function stuck on the loading screen, bolts for brains? Integrate with the Scorpion and find out. The network will tell you uh, all you wish to know about our sovereign <coughs> and more. No! Tell me now! Uh, uh, though I may die, my memories, myself, will live on in our sovereign. Anything? This unit's information was lost. No! Isn't there anything we can do? The central information system of this facility may be able to conduct a search. The probability is high. Though a centralist, he was still Scorpion. Authentication successful. We shall now search for and acquire the necessary data. This will require some time. Is there anything I can do to help? You? As this system is incompatible with Virgoldian Android specifications, we recommend instead that you assist using the touch interface. Understood. Information acquired. We have established that the unit bearing the concept of Sovereign is a top-ranking officer at Pan-Galactic Federation Fleet Headquarters. The previously unthinkable concept of a Scorpion leader first emerged 15 years ago. This aligns with the time Bennett was integrated. A high-ranking officer? Who the hell could it be? This is Ray. Ant, what's going on? Shit's hit the fan, Ray. You need to get back to the Aldus now. We're going back home. The hell are you saying? We don't have time for that, right? A large fleet of Federation ships are on their way to Vergold as we speak. Huh? Vergoldian Interstellar has already deployed forces throughout the system to intercept them. Emergency evacuation orders have been issued to all ships in the area. This is a full-blown invasion. And Ray, the commander of the invading fleet, is Remington Kurtzman, the most bloodthirsty bastard in the Federation. What? How can they? Oh, sons! They didn't even make a declaration! Antonio, this is Elena. Did you just say Kurtzman? 
I did. Why? He is the one. Huh? When referenced against this data, it is irrefutable. Captain Bennett left for his post on Veer 15 years ago. His direct superior at that time was Remington Kurtzman, who is now commander of Fleet Headquarters. Incredible. Wait, there's no freaking way. With this much evidence, I'd say it's certain. I can't believe it. I want to say it isn't true, but... Commander Remington is the Sovereign. Once you're ready to go, get back to the Aldous. We need to leave as soon as possible. We should get out of here and head back for Parapian's transfer chamber. Hold on. They better not think we're somehow connected to the people behind the attack. Do not concern yourself. I have already taken the liberty of sharing what happened inside the plant. JJ. Yes. Understood. We will go there at once. Thank you, everyone. Please excuse us. Were you speaking to them just now? They were in a rush to investigate the plant, so we exchanged information via the network. They requested that I share what I saw, as someone actually present at the scene. Captain Raymond, you and your group are going to Vergald now, correct? Yeah. Hmm. Oh. I take it you have affairs of your own, which you must attend to? I sincerely apologize that I am unable to do anything to repay you all for protecting my comrades. It was our pleasure. Think nothing of it. We were able to learn a great many things, thanks to you. Without you, we would have been fighting the Scorpion with little to no understanding of what it even was. And thanks to you, we were able to uncover Captain Bennett's... the Federation's... crimes. I am truly grateful. This experience of reaching a mutual understanding with non-integrated beings will prove useful to Scorpion's evolution. I wish luck on the Aldous crew. If you should ever visit Parapium again, the Scorpion Network will welcome you with open arms. Farewell. Hmm. I wish you good health. It. Let us make our return to the Aldus. The Chamber of Transfer should be just ahead.
Raymond to bridge. We're departing Parapium in just a few. Head back to our original sector through the Scorpium wormhole. Once we're out, take us to Vergold. Captain, Marielle, the Vela Gulf is hailing us. What? How? They survived? Put them through. Captain Curtis! Nice job getting out of there in one piece. It'll take more than that to sink us. Besides, I was the one worried about you, since the Astoria altered course to pursue you. Uh, actually, Captain Bennett and his entire crew was integrated to Scorpium, and they invaded a Scorpium colony. He was firing upon non-combatants, so we had no choice but to engage him, and... I see. But, Captain, can it be true that a fleet under Commander Remington is currently attacking Vergold? It is. They're using the pretense that Vergold has been antagonistic, interfering in Pangalactic Federation interests. What a bunch of... <laughs> the Federation are clearly in the wrong here. But we're stuck playing catch-up, since no one knows why the Commander has gone berserk. Captain, Commander Remington is connected with the Central Scorpium, the same force that attacked the Manuk system. What? It is likely that the Commander himself has been integrated, and we have evidence that shows he may even be the Centralist leader. The truth is... This whole crisis started with the Federation, when Bennett and other Earthling officers were integrated. Still, I can't believe this has been going on for 15 years. They don't even hold back against their fellow Scorpion. And what's worse? Their abilities are vastly superior to those of us that are flesh and blood. My guess is, they're gonna use this power to expand the Federation's influence. But why would they attack for gold? Well, that's the thing. It's not as if there's been any fierce outward antagonism with for gold up to now. All this will do is serve to upset the other unallied planets. Hey, Duma. I remember before you were saying you came aboard the Yidis to assess Vergold's suitability for integration. And these centralists, they're also connected to the network, right? Correct. Does this mean they're invading with the intention to integrate the people of Vergold as centralist Scorpium? I think we can assume that. You're going? Hey, my home is in danger. I will do my part and gather allies to put a stop to the Commander's madness. You know, we have no way to tell if any Federation ships that come our way are part of Remington's faction. So for safety's sake, give me a heads up if you decide to bring any friends along. Will do. I'll send you all we know about Remington's movements at present. I'll make my way to Vergold as quickly as possible, too. I wish you and the Aldus a safe journey. Over. Add Curtis's data, and open a wide-range schematic display. So, each of those dots is a gigantic ship akin to the Astoria? Hmm. Oh, I now see why Lambert would be so unnerved by the mere sight of the Tyrannus. The enemy's advance forces will reach for gold in 48 hours. It would be reasonable to estimate combat will begin in 72 hours. How about us in the Vela Gulf? Even rushing to Vergold, at warp 11 as we are, we will not arrive for 96 hours. The Vela Gulf is in much the same situation, approximately 98 hours away. Damn. Well, guess that means we can't really depend on them then. Sorry, everybody. Hope you don't mind helping me clean up this mess back home. Has little Duma gone off to? Somewhere with Ray, perhaps. I was hoping to show you all the sights. My mother and... This is the bridge. 
Huh? Nearby sectors. Hey! Well, that was indeed fruitful. Well, that was indeed Watch fruitful. It. of Duma is to seek out candidates for Scorpion and recommend integration if they are found suitable. Our actions were in service of this mission. However, recent events have given us reasonable cause to question the validity of Scorpion principles. What's this all of a sudden? You struggle to understand the Centralists. Our fundamental principles also. Although integration greatly expands our diversity and potential for evolution as a life form, the Centralists have clearly been influenced by the ambition of the Pan-Galactic Federation, and they have now chosen a path that involves attacking fellow Scorpion. We believe that Scorpion has proceeded in an overly uniform manner in our continuous quest for evolution. But... Would this not be the same even if you had not made contact with the Federation? Correct. It appears to be one of the inherent dangers of Scorpion's ideology. Pursuit of our goal so excessive that it drives us to invasion and even harming of our own kind. In short, forced evolution. All this hand-wringing is well and good, but this is the time for action. Even if we don't have all the answers. So, what do you plan to do? It is an undeniable fact that the Centralist Scorpion philosophy is extremely dangerous. We will do whatever we can to stop them. And after that? If we are able to stop the Centralists, we are uncertain of what will happen next. That is something we must consider. I like that. You know, I'm starting to see you less and less as a computer. I'm sure things are gonna work out, right? Now seems an ideal time for some well-needed rest. We are like to face trouble yet again upon reaching our destination. Huh. Now that we know... Well, best I'm not turn be. down a chance. <laughs> Simply delightful. We will arrive momentarily in the Virgold system. The battle will likely be fierce. All hands, brace for unexpected impacts. It sounds as though the situation is dire. I had best join the others on the bridge.
Status report. Three battleships, one hybrid research vessel, and two Scorpion battleships have invaded Virgold space. The Virgoldian fleet has engaged them. We are approximately 13 minutes away from the main combat zone. Schematics. So the Virgoldians have them outnumbered. Maybe there is some hope after all. Well, it's not really that simple. There's no telling how long the Virgoldian fleet's shields will hold up against Federation battleships. Seven minutes! <sighs> Damn. Tactical. Displaying tactical map. Ugh. Now what? Three Federation vessels and one Scorpion battleship are approaching the combat zone. Two will arrive in 12 minutes. The other two, within the hour. Even if the Aldis starts fighting now, this situation looks bleak. You come all this way just to retreat? No, never. But I gotta make sure that our info on the Scorpion is shared with my family. We're gonna cut across that battle zone and land on Virgul. But we'll never make it, Ray! I don't have any combat pilot experience! I will take over primary navigation. Please provide support. But, Roger! Three minutes! Captain! The battleship Sadik has broken away from the Vogoldian fleet. Their warp drive is damaged. Two Federation battleships are pursuing them. Phase cannons charging. They're going to fire. They're going to fire on an incapacitated ship? Shit. Bring us about. Go help the Sadik. Impossible. If both ships come after us, we will be destroyed in a single barrage. Damn! Damn, damn, damn! We should continue with our initial plan. Our only option is to reach headquarters and share what we have learned of Scorpion and the Federation with the Lawrence family and the military. Wait, what is this? What do you see? Look at tacticals. Two of the Federation ships have left the battle line, and they are now heading for the planet. What do they think they can do with just two ships? Surprise attacker, no, they're never gonna get through the planetary shields. Ray, we're about to return to conventional space. You better settle on a plan. We're going after those two ships that left the front line. Got it. Now entering conventional space. Gonna be following those ships at a safe distance. Hey, they aren't headed for the home world. This course is set for Vergness. They must be after the Simbo drives on Vergness. Yeah. Chase them with everything we got. Send an emergency transmission to the military. The fleet they're facing is a feint. We are already at maximum speed. We will not catch them. They are 20 minutes ahead of us. Have you gotten a response from the military? Captain, we're receiving a transmission from Berkness. It doesn't appear to be from the military. Put him through. Dad! What? Well, well. Glad to see you punks are in one piece. Dad! I'm gonna have to keep this short. The main fleet is a feint. Their real target is Provenience Cavern on Vergnes. Two of their battleships are headed there now. Keep your pants on. Maybe you forgot, but Vergnes has a permanent defense fleet. It'll take more than a couple of Federation ships to get through them. Raul Lawrence, this is Lieutenant Mario L. Kenny of the Pan-Galactic Federation. Please, sir, heed your son's warning. These ships are renegades broken away from the fleet's chain of command. Normal assumptions do not apply. Why is there a Kenny aboard the Aldus? Uh, long story. We've been through a lot here. Dad, this is important. I need your help in getting the data we have to the military ASAP. Th these bastards, they're Scorpion. They're not what you think. Federation ship sighted. They're transferring down. So, oh, they broke through the planetary shield? What the hell are these guys? Security, strengthen frontal defenses. Hmm. Looks like this ain't gonna be as easy as I thought. The commander of defense on Bergness is an old pal of mine. Send me your data. I'll convince him. But I want you two to get the hell out of this. Wait, what? Hey, you don't really think the Aldus can take on a fleet of battleships, now, do you? Get out of the combat zone and keep yourselves alive. Got that? Over and out. I believe Raoul's judgment here is sound. All we have done will be for nothing if the Aldus is destroyed. Ray. What? A Federation vessel is hailing us! Have we been spotted? No. If they were with Remington, they would have shot without warning. Put them through. 
Understood. Putting them on screen now. This is Admiral Luca Maverick, hailing from the Pan-Galactic Federation vessel GFSS 1007T, the Kalnas. Admiral Maverick? What do you want, Admiral? Here to ask for our surrender? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not rush to conclusions here. Would it help at all if I told you I've spoken with Curtis? Our vessel is headed for Vergald along with one of our newest battleships. At maximum warp, as we speak, to put an abrupt stop to Remington's incursion. We should be there in around 40 minutes. Can you hold out for that long? The Vergoldian fleet might just barely make it, but they've also put forces down on Vergnus and have started attacking cities and civilians. A detached force, huh? You require any backup? No, no. We'll take care of it ourselves. Uh, think you can handle it? Sure, we'll be fine. I can't apologize enough for Remington's actions and the cowardice of the Federation. Yeah, gotcha, but actions speak louder than apologies. Got it. Let's all get through this alive. Over. He's a good man who worked alongside my grandfather at the Federation. We can trust him. Fine. We'll let the military and Admiral Maverick handle the defense of Vergold. We are gonna transfer down to Vergnus. We're gonna go help my dad. Understood. We can transfer down to Lawrence Logistics. I thought you were gonna try to stop me. I never assume that you, Raoul, or Antonio will ever listen to what I say. Yeah, no point in starting now then. Ant, we're heading to the surface. Once we're there, I want you to move away from Vergnus. No need to tell me that. You think I'm gonna hang out here staring down a couple of battleships? Ray. Sorry, but I'm gonna need your help. You need not have asked. Exactly. If it's a fight to save your home, then of course we're going to go. Indeed. Any battle of yours is a battle of ours.